Yeah, you know, this whole idea of having to do with elections, I think uh, almost everybody involved is hoping that is left as a last option or a nuclear option, as it were. Uh, right now, though, most of the action is centered on the mad scramble to form a government uh, so that they don't have to go to uh, elections here. And I want to show you some uh, pictures we shot, some video we shot just a couple of moments ago, uh, because this is where we are, just outside the palaces, the gates of the palace of the king is where the story is centered, where the action is happening today. They came by the busloads uh, in limousines, in much more modest private cars, in hatchbacks, compacts, in vans, in SUVs, in MPVs, MPs. All 220 of them going through these gates started yesterday, likely to continue uh, today, of course, and also stretch into tomorrow. Not so much to pay homage to the king because it's a ceremonial titular uh, position, but uh, although, you know, this is the fellow who constitutionally has the right to name and install a prime minister, but more because it's getting to be crunch time. The clock is ticking. The stalemate political vacuum cannot continue forever. This is the time now to, in poker terms, show your hand. Let's see your cards. Who are you aligning with? Which is exactly what these MPs are being asked in a specific questionnaire. Who do you want to be PM? And do you think parliament should be dissolved and elections called? Uh, that's the alternative here. And all this information, remember, gets filtered back to none other than Dr. Uh, Mahathir Mohammed because he is, as interim caretaker prime minister, still advisor to the king or Agong. And it's Mahathir out of this whole mess uh, ironically, I mean, if, if one thing is clear, it is that he is still in the driver's seat. He he'll, still holds most of the aces. So it's going to be whom he decides he can or wants to work with to form uh, a new uh, government here. So uh, fascinating, but also very confusing story. A lot of moving parts. We're waiting for Pakatan Harapan, uh, which was the largest uh, uh, a coalition or majority, uh, a coalition majority in the government that just was to come out with a uh, statement, possibly late afternoon today, who the new prime minister is, whether they have enough numbers to make a government, and whether or not elections are going to be necessary.